Hey, boys and girls in the firearms world. Hey, you know, it's a Friday afternoon here. It's, I don't know, what time's the clock say? It's uh, 5.31-ish. Nice day outside. Been sunshine and all day. It's not, it's in the mid-40s. <clears throat> anyway, I had to go to the Bullet Bazaar today because that's where we go in New York. It's now. It's not called the Wholesale House where you're not going to pick up ammunitions or cartridges or reloading components. It's the Bullet Bazaar. All right, new word for New Yorkistan. I know it's hard for people to understand and grasp this all this new technology. Anyway, <clears throat> going to the Bullet Bazaar can sometimes be very expensive for a black powder bill here. Anyway, I was able to secure today 2,900. That's 2,900 Hornady 9mm, 124 grain, round nose, full metal jacketed bullets. These are bullets, not cartridges. Okay, and I sure... Oh, wait a minute. Got something cooking here in the kitchen. Hold on. <clears throat> oh my god, look at that. They're done. This is a bag of 108 millimeter Mauser brass. I had a guy who was supposed to send me money this for this. He wanted it real bad. He bought a bunch of components off me. Needed the brass. I don't know, maybe his buddy didn't like the price. Anyway, I got 100 pieces. I believe these are Remington brass. Don't know. Let me look. I forget. If it sits around. Yep. Remington, 8mm Mauser Brass, $75 plus shipping. I might be able to get these all in a small flat rate box. If not, we'll have to figure something out. All right, 75 bucks the 8mm Brass. Now, back to the Hornady bullets I picked up today. Look at that, huh? Aren't they pretty? Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. <clears throat> Again, I got 2,900 of these. Uh, actually, about 52 pounds in the box. Very heavy box. Small, you know. Um, I'm probably going to have to get about $15.25 per hundred for these. I'm liable to do what I did with the Winchester bullets, sell them by the pound. <clears throat> you know, figure out how many how many are in a pound. You know, and it's easy to do, people. You know, it's, uh, you got, you know, 124 grains. Multiply that, you know. Buy your, buy, do your ounces and everything and divide it by 7,000 grains and they'll tell you how many you can get in a pound, all right? So just multiply these up, say three or 400 of them, or 500 times 124, divide by 7,000, that tells you how many you're going to get. I'll probably be selling them in, in five pound lots like I did before. So you, you give or take, you know, on what you're going to get. Now, <clears throat> what I did also scored this past week and... I bought four of these, but I'm going to keep one for myself. The Lee Hand Press. Are you familiar with those? Well, let me show you. I got Lee Hand Press right here, okay? Now, you can use these on the range. These are really nice to use on the range. So you got a 4570, and you want to pop the, um, <clears throat> pop the primers out. You've been shooting black powder, and you want to pop the primers out of them. You put a universal decapping die in here. Lee makes one of those. Sorry, I don't have any more. If they would have been available, I would have bought, you know, about 10 or 12 of them. They're really nice to have. It, this, again, now, what makes this nice is this is the new design press, okay? This has the breech lock with the interrupted thread in it, okay? I don't know if you can see that there. See? All right. We've got a little detent up here in the top. See it? <clears throat> you have the small button on the top. You push that in. Take this. Go a quarter turn out and give her a twist and she'll lock in. Now this is threaded 7 8 14. For those of you who don't know that are new to reloading, 7 8 14 is the standard die thread size. 7 8 diameter, 14 threads by inch. For those of you that are into, you know, pipe fittings and things like that. <clears throat> I was also, before I go on, that's $46 for this press plus shipping, all right? <clears throat> Again, I have three of these. I'm putting them up on gunbroker.com. Now, <clears throat> I was also able to score six of the Lee Reloader presses. I'm going to ask $39 for these. This is a nice little bench-mounted press. All right. Three screws. The, ar the, the press arbor is hollow. So when you pop the primer out, it slides down in this wherever, this wee hole right here, your primers pop in there, they fall down into here. Now, 
what you do if you're smart and you put this on your press, <clears throat> you line it up, you mark your you mark your three holes, you pull it off, you look at your bench, you drill a hole down through your bench. Okay? You get a jar, preferably a plastic one works better. Glass likes to break. <clears throat> drill a hole in that lid and you screw that lid up to the bottom of your workbench. And you screw your plastic jar onto the bottom of that. Then as this little area under here fills up with primers, they fall into your jar. This way you don't have to pull it off and you have primers dump all over the place. Again, I use this press. I've used this press like this, this little leaf press, bench press, to uh, load 45 long pole, 4570, actually improved. I use it to decap. I have a Lee hand primer tool. In fact, I got one of those for sale. I got to figure out what the price for that is. Guy bought it and never paid me for it. Um, <clears throat> I use my Lee hand presses. I got this. Um, I've got a Lyman turret press on my own personal stuff. Um, I had some guys come out and say, uh, well, you get these Lee dies. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I want to do some long range competition shooting and, uh, you know, I, I want to buy a better die. I'll tell you right now, for the money on a Lee die, there isn't a better die. Um, I know, a I have a friend of mine that had bought a Redding die. And he couldn't figure out why his 250 wasn't shooting well. And come to find out, I mean, he did everything. He had all kind of weird things going wrong. He pulled the expander ball out, and it was the wrong size. Mistakes happen, okay? Mistakes happen. Um... You know, Lee has very extensive reloading components. <clears throat> they make them affordable. I would suggest that you people just starting out, you know, um, you buy whatever press you want, okay? If you got the money you, and, you, and that's the way you're going to roll, buy whatever press you want. But I would buy uh, something inexpensive and then work your way up. Uh, you, Lee has the progressive presses. Sorry. The only one of those I have in stock right now is for the 357, which you can also adjust the dies in load 38s. All right. That is, that's Elite Pro 1000, I believe it is, I have for sale. That's all on gunbroker.com. I'm on gunbroker.com is BPBRS. That's Black Potter Bills Reloading Supplies. But I just use my initials, BPBRS. If you want to contact me, get a hold of me on Black Powder Bill at yahoo.com. I am making some changes. The uh, phone number, this 3457 that I have listed everywhere, will be retired come April the 15th. <clears throat> Uh, several reasons. One, I have a cell phone with thousands of minutes on it, internet capable and all that. Uh, I, I don't need the two phone bills. Uh, so I'll post the new number um, as time goes around. I'll get it. I have to get all these things changed on my auction. Again, I get the 8mm Mauser Brass, $75 plus shipping. I got the Hornady, 115 grain. Full metal jack, 124 grain full metal jacketed round nose bullets. Those will be 15 ish uh, per hundred. I'm going to sell those by the pound. I got the Lee Reloader Press. Okay, that's going to be $39 plus shipping. And I got the Lee Hand Press with the breech lock bushing. Okay, and you can get extra breech lock bushings as soon as they become available. I'm going to buy several dozen of them so I can offer them with all the presses I'm selling because you only get one bushing with this. This makes it so you can wind your dies in, and you can just to, to, to pop them right in and out. Again, $46 for this press plus shipping. I try to ship them as cheap as possible or as inexpensive as possible. I either go FedEx or U.S. Postal Service, but I'm thinking all these presses are not going to have to go in a medium, medium box. So if you order the press, you know, grab a couple packages of bullets because the shipping is not going to be anymore. It's going to be one price. Hey, this is Black Powder Bill out. It's Friday afternoon. I'm going to run up to the diner, uh, get something to eat. And um, I got a realtor coming by the house again tomorrow, so I have to get all my stuff put up, get all my office paperwork done. Hey, it's Black Powder Bill out. It's been fun. We cooked it up here in the kitchen again today. I'm sure that upset some uh, anti-gunner somewhere. Again, Black Powder Bill out.